Hey guys, Physics Mathman here, and this week I will cover Lena the Slayer's abilities, role, and item choices. Lena is an intelligence range hero who is particularly adept at dealing out large amounts of magical burst damage, and thanks to Fiery Soul, can become a significant auto attacker later in the game. Let's take a look at her skill set. Dragon Slave, her first move, is a simple magic nuke in which a cone of fire emanates from Lena, dealing a set amount of damage to whoever crosses its path. The range is decent and can hit units up to 1275 away. Her second move, Light Strike Array, summons a pillar of fire after a short half second delay. Units hit will take damage and be stunned. This move can be used to clear trees, and, like Leshrac, Split Earth is not the easiest spell to land consistently. Lena's Fiery Soul, her third move, and her passive, grants stacks to her movement and attack speed for every spell cast. With a maximum of three total stacks, the duration can be at any point refreshed by simply using yet another spell. You can, if you have enough mana, have three Fiery Soul stacks active indefinitely. Finally, her ultimate, Laguna Blade, is a searing hot bolt of single target skill, dealing a massive amount of damage to that unit. It is important to note that Ags changes this ability to pure damage, going through things like BKB. Also note that the spell can be dodged, as there is a quick delay in the damage application, but it cannot be disjointed. Lena's skill build is pretty static. The only flexibility comes when deciding whether to get extra early points in Light Strike Array, or in Fiery Soul. Max out Light Strike Array if the enemy has slippery heroes, meaning the longer stun and extra damage is useful. Otherwise, consider evenly spacing out the skill points as you see fit between the two moves. In every case, max Dragon Slave and get your ultimate whenever possible. It is worth briefly talking about your combo with Yule's Scepter. This combo is fairly easy to pull off and is very potent at any level of play. So if you're newer to the game or looking for a hero to boost MMR, Lena is a fine choice. The hard part is that you must get yourself into Cyclone range. Use preemptive abilities to gain fiery soul charges for movement speed, phase boots, or smoke to do this. Then, Yules the enemy into the air. After the hero spins exactly twice, use Light Strike Array. Then use Dragon Slave and Laguna Blade while they are stunned. If needed, finish them off with fiery soul auto attacks. This guide will cover a semi-carry Lena mid, where she is very popular at the moment. In my opinion, the hero's gameplay is very formulaic and thus a good choice for beginning players. In lane, with only a few levels, Lena is actually quite powerful. However, her last hitting abilities are not so strong at the beginning. Because of this, it's often useful to use Dragon Slave to grab last hits, preferably damaging your enemy lane partner at the same time. Alternatively, a value point in Fiery Soul should be skilled to help your last hitting. This value point doubles in its usefulness. It gives you a little better survivability in lane, as well as a means to grab runes quicker. As you gain levels in Dragon Slave, look to arrange the creep wave so a few creeps die entirely from one use. Like most mids, do this around the even minute marks in order to secure your runes. You need plenty of mana, so bottle crow whenever you need to, even if you've gotten the runes. After items like boots, bottle, and wand, your first main goal in the early game will be to obtain the money for a Yule Scepter, as it'll give you solo killing power on just about any hero. To do this quickly, play mid like a Shadow Fiend would. When you reach high enough levels, nuke the wave with Dragon Slave and head to the large creep camp to stack it. The beauty of your high magic AoE burst is that you can clear these large stacks easily later on. Mid game arrives with the Yule Scepter. At this point, you'll want to identify which heroes you should target for a kill. This usually means supports or lower health carries. If needed, buy a smoke and go gank a lane. After completing your combo, you will have very little mana to do much else. Use your remaining mana pool to farm the lane or jungle as you meander your way back to the fountain to fill up again. By the time you do, Laguna Blade should be off cooldown so you can repeat. If you are efficient with the kills and the in-between farming, 
you will be fast on your way to the next item, Aghanim's Scepter. Late game arise for Lino when you obtain your alt stick. With this item, all heroes are as killable as they'll ever be. You will want to target either magic immune enemies or supports who have not gained enough health to withstand the 950 pure damage of your alt. This can even mean one shots on them. Although you can solo kill a lot of enemy heroes, try to teamfight and immediately make it a 4 vs 5 by roasting a single hero. At this point, your item choices will always be situational, which we will discuss later. Surprisingly, a lot of your damage output will come from your fiery soul at this point, so make sure you go beast mode when appropriate. I'm going to go over a standard Lena game and talk about my item choices. I begin with two magic wand components and a pooled tango for a fast bottle. I try and use dragon slave to get last hits and every time I try and hit sniper as well. As the 2 minute mark approaches, I even out the creep wave and finish it with a single dragon slave. This secures the rune for me. At every opportunity I get, I hit mid with a dragon slave. Although it won't net in a kill, this ultimately gives me lane dominant. Four enemies come mid and a fight breaks out. I try to use my early magic burst appropriately. Unfortunately, I get a little out of position and I get chain stunned. I try to make the best of the situation as it is. My constant wave pushing against the sniper starts to pay off. Combined with jungle stacks and the tower, I obtain my Yule Scepter. I immediately go gank and catch a cyclone on Rubik. Embarrassingly, I miss the LSA, but I still finish him off anyway. I continue to farm camps and lanes, working towards my alt stick. Wherever I spot a squishy soft solo kill, I go for it. I finally finished the Aghanim Scepter, and I am also nearing level 16. I get caught out mid, unfortunately, and die before the teamfight begins. However, I do manage to get my Laguna Blade off, one-shotting the Rubik. Knowing I have a port, I buy back and net a triple kill. I am now done with my core items, so I have to choose situational ones. I decide to go Blink Dagger to catch the faster Slark and Sniper, as well as have the ability to disjoint stuns. I am always aware that Rubik is insta-killed with my Laguna, and I catch him out whenever he is the least bit out of position. The Sniper is just about the same deal when he has his Mask of Madness active. It takes one extra hit. As the carries start to obtain their BKBs, I make sure that I reserve the Laguna Blade for them now, because I can take them out fairly easily. We begin to siege the base. I make sure to use my Laguna at the right time to ensure a 4 on 5 team fight. This nets us a set of racks, and at this point it's just downhill. I can basically pick off anyone at will. I finished the game with a good score, and we also had the Phantom Lancer to back us up in case things went awry. Time to wrap up with three Lena the Slayer takeaways. Number one, use Dragon Slave and a value point of Fiery Soul to control the lane early on. This is your main source of last hitting and damage to the opponent. Number two, stack those large jungle camps after clearing the mid lane. This will up your GPM significantly so you can obtain a Yule Scepter faster. And number three, focus on turning teamfights into a 4v5 by quickly decimating a single enemy hero in battles. Keep an eye out for supports that cannot withstand the Laguna Blade. Lina can not only divvy out large amounts of AoE damage, but she can decide to end an enemy's life almost instantaneously in a fight. 
And for that poor soul, it isn't the heat, it's the humiliation. Hey guys, Physics Mathman here from Relax You're Fine. Follow me on Twitter or join my chat channel, Physics Mathman Dirty Earth Spirit Picker, and play some games with me.